Hi guys, uh, today we'll be actually opening up the M20 and actually doing a maintenance video on it. Also, I want to show everyone how do you actually open the M20 uh, and also to lubricate some of the parts to grease the plunger tube and things like that. Alright, so in front of you is the M20 and first and foremost we must actually remove this grip. Alright, some of you may have different grips. This is one of the grips that I have. Uh, we'll just use an allen key and also a screw to remove it, alright? So as you can see, this is what I'm actually taking out now. So you do it successfully, the grip should actually come off. Right, just like that. So you just leave it aside. Now if you look at the M20, you actually see there are a lot of screws. Okay, uh, These are mainly M3 and M4 screws. We'll be using an Allen key to actually remove them. So just go ahead and actually uh, remove some of them first. We'll start off with the butt. So the butt actually has two screws, if you can see over here. Just remove this side. And another one here as well. Okay, so once you do that successfully, the whole butt should be able to come off, just slide off like that. All right, and you can put this aside. And next, we want to remove is the back end of your uh, metal plate. All right, the metal plate itself has M5 nuts and. M5 screws. So we first remove the top. Now please make sure that you hold the uh, metal butt in place because there should be a spring inside and there will be much tension. So what we do is just hold it with your hand tightly, remove the top nut, followed by that is the two uh, M5 screws. Alright, for demonstration I do not have a spring inside mine. Okay. But for your case, there should be a spring, so please be careful while removing these. Alright, so it should just come off like that. And there are, these are the screws that uh, are holding everything in place, especially for the uh, metal plate, so do not lose them. So just put them aside. Alright, let's flip the whole thing over and Let's continue unscrewing all the M3 screws first. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, so these seven actually have to come off first. Let's release them on this side. Now, as you unscrew, the other side uh, of the blaster will have the nut itself, which should actually dislodge itself as you are unscrewing. It is the third one. If you have a power tool, that obviously it will be much easier. All right, but I'm just using a manual screwdriver for today's demonstration. Another one here. And one more here. Okay, there are also two more screws here and here which you need to um, loosen. Just release a little bit. Do not have to remove everything. Alright, just release it a little. Okay, and continue to unscrew the rest on top. These are the M4 screws. One. Two. Four and the fifth one. All right, now you still have three more screws here. These are actually M3, so take another Allen key to remove, uh, loosen three of them. All right, so just unscrew them. One, the second one.
And the third one. Okay, so if you have successfully done it, the whole blaster should be able to come off just like that. Alright, so let's try. We can just flip this thing over if you like. Okay, sorry, I think we'll do it this way. You can see all the screws that are coming up. Alright, let's put them aside first. This one as well. Okay, and let's just open it. So once we open it, you can see this is how it looks like inside. Alright, so we'll just move everything aside first. Now some important things to take note of. If you can see the blaster, this is where the sear is. Alright, uh, this is where the trigger, this is where the trigger mag release is. Okay, so that's where the spring is holding them. Alright, this is actually uh, the um, but area where the bar is actually located and the clamp is in there same goes for here the butt switch is actually here all right this is actually the uh, aluminium profile that holds the two uh, shells together now you can see all these things are t-nuts t-nuts are actually nuts that actually slide along the aluminium profile and when you turn it it will actually twist itself and you lock itself into the aluminium profile this is the plunger tube area, alright, it's a little bit oily because I actually have um, lubricated it already. So I'll just wipe it off a bit. Now you can actually do this as well because you're actually doing maintenance. You can wipe off the excess grease or oil from your blaster, uh, after which you have to re-grease it again. Uh, then this is actually the trigger that uh, activates the sear. Uh, the two nuts here are very important. Please remember not to lose them and while assembling them, to put them back this is an m6 nut this is an m4 nut all right these two nuts are required to secure your grip okay and this is more this is actually the um, stainless steel rails that we are using now these rails you can actually lubricate them by using singer oil okay so what you do just remove the cap and just dip it like that along the rails all right now this should actually give you more lubrication and uh, your rails will be actually smoother Okay, so you can see this the, the movement of it. All right, the plunger just came off, so you can see this is actually a lot of grease inside. And if you want to take out the plunger tube, what you can do is just lift it up a little bit and just pull it up like that. Okay, and uh, you can actually clean your plunger tube. You can actually regrease your plunger tube. Look something like that. All right, uh, remove the oil and add in extra grease. Okay. So I'll just put it back here first. So if you're you're done with it, alright, some oh sorry, some other points that you should take note of as well. Slowly remove the rail. Alright, it's important that you slowly remove it because if you are not careful, the rail will come off from the rail block and you will have a lot of ball bearings that will be uh, dropped everywhere which is not what you want there's actually an allen key screw here this will actually tighten your pusher or ramrod to this steel bar all right so sometimes along the way after you play a few times uh, this may come loose so just use an allen key to actually tighten this grub screw okay apart from that there's really uh, nothing much more that you can uh, maintain on your blaster all right sometimes you may need to change the plunger tube uh, due to wear and tear all right let me just put it back okay so after you're done with it the fixing it back is the direct opposite of how you put it back in okay so just take this uh, top of the shell and just snap it back on as how you have actually removed it now one point to take note first please make sure your plunger tube is in place properly okay make sure your t-nuts are also more or less positioned well so that it's much easier for you uh, to to secure it later okay so i'll just push it in place you can see the holes that's the alignment there all right and make sure that these the rails are actually in the groove well 
these two nuts again must be in place this uh, butt lock switch also in place and slowly lift up the shell and put it back down again all right if you have done it properly it should go in easily all right just like that and you can actually slowly go through the process of screwing back the nuts again okay uh, the screws and the nuts so that's how you actually maintain your M20. Thank you very much.